The cut of a diamond refers to everything man has done to convert it from a rough diamond crystal into a finished gemstone capable of producing brightness, fire, and scintillation. Cut is graded on a scale ranging from excellent to poor. Diamonds are cut to a variety of shapes. The choice of shape impacts many factors, including value. Light behavior also functions differently in different shapes. Rounds, princess, cushions, and ovals are brilliant cuts with kite-shaped facets designed to promote vivid sparkle and contrast. Emerald and square emeralds are step cuts with long, flat facets and a hall of mirrors effect when looking into the stone. The radiant is a mixed cut, combining the brilliant style of faceting on the bottom with step cut faceting on the top. All diamond shapes will be graded in the areas of polish, which analyzes how lustrous and unblemished the surface is, and symmetry, which judges evenness and consistency of the diamond's outline and facets. One shape is analyzed even further. That shape is the round brilliant, which is most popular for two reasons. First, because producers can maximize recovery from a rough crystal by cutting two round brilliants from it. And second, because it's most efficient at returning the light it gathers back to the viewer's eyes. For this reason, round brilliants are graded in polish, symmetry, and proportions. The way light behaves in a diamond depends on its proportions. Diamonds cut shallow or deep can appear dark for different reasons. But diamonds with proportionate geometries successfully reflect, refract, and return light to the viewer's eyes. For example, these stones are both bright under spotlights, but in normal lighting, the 80-pointer remains bright from edge to edge, while the one-carat stone doesn't. In fact, the 80-pointer now appears visually larger than the one-carat stone, even though it's physically smaller. The difference is cut quality. More than any other C, the way a diamond is cut determines how big, bright, and lively it appears as it travels through the world's many different lighting conditions. If you have any questions, ask your jewelry professional or contact us directly at IGI.org.